<laughs> Look who joined me! <laughs> Camera, say hi everybody! Hi! <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Before we keep going on with today's video, I want to thank TV for sponsoring this portion of the video. So you guys have seen me use and talk many, many times about TV's detox mask. Literally one of my favorites. It is so good to detoxify your skin. However, I want to introduce you guys to this one right here. Another one of my absolute favorites that I've been using lately, and this one is their beauty mask. So while this one will detoxify your skin and just bring out all the gunk, this one right here will restore your skin, hydrate it, and just give you a nice plump. It will help not only hydrate, but also rejuvenate and restore your skin. And it's very gentle, so you can use it three, four times a week. Very spa pamper me time. So I like to wear this little headband so no hair is in the way. And I will apply a thin layer all over my clean face. I tend to mask at night and today it's Saturday. I decided to do it in the morning. A little wake me up to get the weekend going. And now we give it 15 minutes. Okay, now that it's been 15 minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and just rinse this off with a sponge and warm water. Okay, now that my mask is off, my skin feels so nice, hydrated, new. Also, it is 100% organic and I am ready to take over the weekend. And if you're like me that normally masks at night, highly recommend you try it in the morning on a day off. It just makes me feel ready for my day. If you guys want to grab Timmy's Butterfly Beauty Mask, I will leave it linked down below. You guys can use code Less to Makeup for 20% off the whole TV website. If you guys already love their detox mask, trust me, you are also going to love this one. Let me know if you guys end up grabbing it and how you love it. And now on to today's video. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have a special guest. Okay. So today I have a special guest. Uh, I feel like, wait, when was the last time you were on my channel? It's been a minute, a sit no? down video, yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while that we sit down and talk to you guys. I even have, I even have like my little notepad here. Because we wrote little notes on what we want to talk to you guys about. So as you guys saw in the video, we are moving. Literally, we are kind of almost done packing. By the time this video goes up, we will no longer be here. We will be in our new house. So I have literally been thinking about this video and I would like play it over and over in my head on how we're going to tell you guys and sit down and just tell you guys this right here, which is like a super, super big deal for me and Alex. So we basically built our dream home. I can't believe we're literally finally <laughs> sitting here and sharing this with you guys. Um, it's been what, a year and a half later? A year and a half. So yeah, we've been knowing and we shared with you guys. Uh, You guys have been with us since we built this house and we moved into this house. So before this, if you guys have been with us for that long, we were in our apartment um and since then we had told you guys we knew this was not our forever home but you know it was something we're really happy with at the moment mm -hmm. and we really quickly i i don't want to say outgrow it because we're not like a family of 10 but like we really quickly knew we wanted well we did outgrow it we, okay yeah we did the baby when the baby came we outgrew it for sure right now we only have you know like uh, our bedroom and then my makeup room and then our baby g's toy slash my office slash <laughs> alex's game room it's all piled in here yeah literally all literally all in that room so, so yeah when we realized we wanted to move um, we actually really wanted to stay here in El Paso, but there was not too many house options Yeah, I guess you could say that um, kind of for what we were looking for and then our friends really started to like You know make Try to convince us to go to LA. Yeah to move to LA and honestly it started sounding really really like a really good move for realistic, us Realistic, yeah, it started to sound like a realistic move, but we did get deep into that process So that's a whole other story kind of like right before COVID was really really bad um, We were already like in the process of just kind of like browsing like browsing through houses in, in LA and just like in that area, looking at options, looking at prices. We had a realtor, uh, we were talking to somebody, somebody was sending us pictures, somebody was sending us properties. Cassie and Eldon would drive around houses and yeah. send us pictures and videos. So and it was like we, set, we, we got, were set on leaving to LA. We were, yeah, we were set, but the process itself wasn't like, oh, it was almost done, but it was like, in the works it was in the works like we were already speaking to somebody and then we were already kind of like making plans of what, what we were going to mm. do as covid got worse and there was just no flights there was no way to go see anything mm. like you couldn't do anything in person you couldn't go look at houses and it just gave us more time to like think on that like irrational thought like to really think like yeah okay that's kind of we're, we're jumping the gun here and then yeah we just as covid got worse you know we were forced to not be able to do anything anyway well, no, so we could have we could have though, we could've, we could've, yes at the end of the day but like everything like like covid itself like did force us to kind of like and things were just scary in that time anyway so like well i mean we had reached a point where we literally for like i'm not kidding huh for like at least three months guys me and alex would be like okay so what are we doing are we gonna keep looking here or are we moving to la and we both, we both would be like, well, if we stay here, like, where where are we going to look? Kind of what we're looking for. Like, we need to find a realtor, somebody to help us, blah, blah. Literally for three months, 
like it was like a conversation that me and Alex would be like, so are we leaving or are we staying too late? So are we leaving and staying too late? And then everything that Alex just told you guys, which was like talking to a realtor, we decided we're going to LA, we can't be scared. Like we need to take that move, you know? And then kind of COVID happened, again, everything that Alex just said. But then aside COVID, I feel like, like it just didn't feel right. Like yeah, we were not was, like- It was like an impulse. Like it was just like, yeah. it was a little like un unrealistic, like irrational, like not unrealistic to move there, but in that the, the time, that we were like trying to do everything, it was just like, yeah, like be real. Like, all our family from my side and Alex's side and friends are here, so you know, it was like gonna be a huge step for us, but yeah, it got to a point where we were like, so nosotros, like Alex said, you know, like we were thinking we were ready for it and we put in even like an offer and like a house and stuff. And then, oh, and then that's when we jump into the other story on why it didn't end up happening. I mean, COVID obviously was slowing things down and it just didn't feel right to like move with the baby during COVID. Yeah. And then we found this, I saw this house on Facebook, like out of all the places, I saw this house on Facebook, we came across a realtor and then I saw this one house that was available here. So we went to go look at it. Um, this was again about a year and a half ago. We went to go look at it and it was a beautiful house exactly in the same community that we're moving to into now which like it's where we really wanted to move to but it i was, mean it being our dream house it just well, wasn't it was, made for us so that house that, like let's just say it was a beautiful house it was in, it's in the community that um we're gonna be living in but it was a uh it was a, a custom built home so like that means a family, from to our, to our knowledge, a family went in and like custom built that house. Like they chose, you know, they chose everything in it. They chose the layout, they chose the rooms, they just chose like all kinds of different things and functional things in the house that like when we went to see, we we're just like, you know, like to us, it's like, oh, why would we need that? Like, why would we need a pet shower? Like, why would we need, we need this loft? Like, why would we need that? So like for the price of the home, we were just like, Mm -hmm. You know, if we do get this house, that's kind of us like settling and and then we were like, well, maybe we can just, you know, after we move in, hire somebody to come like redo some stuff. And it's like, well, you know, the point is not not to have to do that. We were just like, no, like you see, like now we're rushing again into trying to get a, yeah. get into a new house and it's not something we love. So we let that slide right for a while. Like we're like, hey, well, you know, thank you for showing us the house. We'll be in contact. And then it went back to the same thing Square of like, <laughs> are we leaving or are we staying? Are we staying or are we leaving? Are we staying or are we leaving? Are we staying or are we leaving? So months later we went, we were we were in that same neighborhood and I, and Leslie went to an appointment and I told her, hey, I'm gonna go check out that house. We went to go see, to see how far, you know, I feel like by this time it should be com completed. So I went up there and yeah, the house was pretty much done. They were like doing final touches and I was like, oh wow. Like, and then I told Leslie, look, it's finished. I sent her pictures and videos. And then she was like, you know what? Like the house is pretty cool. And that's when you were like, let's just move into that one. Like, let's just mm -hmm. see if it's still available. Available. We'll move into it. It's really nice. So we hit up the realtor again. We're like, hey, like it's us again. We came back to see the house hey, now that it's me. finished. And he was like, dang, guys, like they literally just closed on this house like a week ago. So it's like it's already sold. And that's when we we're like, oh man, like, well, we missed out on that one. Yeah. And I mean, everything kept seems, it almost seemed like, how do I say? It? It almost seemed like we were always like going back to square one. But then also in my heart, I was like corny as it sounds. Like I just felt like, and I would tell Alex, like maybe it just wasn't meant to be, you know? Like, and he's like, well, what? Like the months and months are passing. Like what's our next move, you know? So it was a little bit like not knowing like what to do next. And then I was like, I, I don't know, like something's gonna happen. Like it was just not meant to be. And then that's when. Yeah, the realtor was like, hey, like, sorry guys, this house is already sold, you know? Yeah. But he was like, actually, he's like, there's a lot, like two houses over. Literally two houses it's, over. It's a lot, like it was just a dirt lot, but it was already like ready, like it was prepped. They were gonna start building on the lot, but it was going to be a model home. So like a, the company who built our house was just gonna build a model home mm. to their liking and then, you know, put it up on the market and sell it. And he's like, let me contact the guy from there. Um, he's like, I know they haven't built anything. They haven't laid a foundation or anything. So uh, let me contact him, see like, you know, if they're gonna sell it or they're keeping it, what, what they're gonna do. And yeah, so he hit him up and he's like, hey, good news guys. Like, yeah, the house is, is there's no foundation. He says, you know, as long as, if you guys are really willing, you know, if you guys want the space, like we, you guys can meet with him. He'll show you the layout of the house. Uh, you know, if you guys really do go forward with it, like the the layout of the house is completely like customizable. Like you guys can completely scrap it and make something different. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of when we we're like, wow, like I guess it was destiny. Like you know, like we destiny, waited. Destiny, that's the word I was looking for. We, and we were like, dang, that's the opportunity to build like our dream home. Dun, dun. P.O. box.
Guys, we are okay. So we're not gonna post none of this footage till obviously our house is done, which you guys will get to. Some, it all makes sense in the vlog, huh? Sometime in 2021. Yeah. So right now we're actually in December 2020. Um, we've been going at the house now for what about five months? A little what bit, yeah. Since we Super. barely started, and, like came to look where it was just literally dirt. Mm -hmm. And today I was actually telling Alex we got word that you know the framing started to go up. So I told Alex like, babe, we have to go. Like I really wanna bring you guys along with this whole, you know, building um our house and stuff so i was like we want i want to go and like just show you guys what it looks like before the framing and stuff even though as you guys can see there's already a little bit up but yeah this is we are we've been about five months in already it's finally starting to actually come along a little bit so yeah we're hoping to share this news with you guys i don't know we'll see when the vlog goes up but me and alex are aiming for july 2021 so when you guys see this vlog we'll we'll see if we like nailed it or it was sooner or later but yeah that is what it looks like so far baby g has not come yet it's too cold now for us to like yeah. bring them we're in december so it's pretty cold now but yeah we're so excited and yeah we're gonna share this for you guys along through all this even though we're gonna post it till later but i feel like the noticia y en esta casa fue donde se robaron las cosas whatever that made no sense imagine you fall for the vlog I still can picture it, like I tell Alex, like I still can picture it, like when it's just framed like this, I'm just like, it doesn't look like a house yet to me, you know, obviously. But yeah, this will actually be... Your this office. right here is supposed to be actually my office. my new office makeup room. So of course for the first five months, like we're telling you, it was a lot of just paperwork mainly. You know, good thing, you know, God willing, we get it next year, but you know, it's, it's, it's gonna come along really good. Yeah, which story time should be the way I'm planning yeah. the editing in the beginning of this video, but... Right now it's just basically showing you guys where we're at with the house. Yeah, the sun's going down, it looks pretty so far. Yeah, we're excited. <gasps> Stop! Yeah, it's currently the update. I'm Okay, they have the radio, but yeah, they're already putting up the AC. The framing is almost fully done, and but yeah, we now have the stairs, so we're able to go up there safe. Living room space, and then this is already our backyard. Can't wait. Um, so yeah, this is what it's looking like. This is the update so far. You guys, house update. I don't even remember the last time that we updated you guys since this vlog has been like a whole year vlog, but it's actually baby G's. He's right there. Oh, oh, come over here. Come over here. As I was saying, it is baby G's first time actually at the house. So even though he just has no idea <laughs> what's going on. Hi, baby, you excited? You excited for your new house? Oh my goodness. Babe, he's like running all over the place, but the doors got installed. Let me clean my camera. But yeah, the doors got installed, also the windows. Um, yeah, right now it's basically just a bunch of walls up. Uh-oh. We are currently in the backyard. Baby G is wanting to roam around all over. My son. Do, 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 do. Uh, but yeah, it was just a quick- Slow down, buddy. A quick house update. Okay, Alex is taking <laughs> over baby G, but so right now is actually, today's actually July the 5th. It is a day after 4th of July. Duh, it's July the 5th. <laughs> we are looking, hopefully, si Dios get it to move in by August. But in my head, I'm like, I don't think it's gonna be August. I'm telling myself September. But yeah, we're so excited. We can't wait. Every time we come, the neighborhood is like such a calm, peaceful neighborhood. Like not a single car passes by here or anything. It's super calm. Hey. Guys, he wants to throw <laughs> everything like on that side. But yeah, we'll see you guys next time. We are at our house and it's starting to look more and more of a house. Sorry, guys. I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you <laughs> House tour, just kidding guys, we are early, early 2022 and update in our house Yeah, what do you think? Do you like it? Well, we're all matching with sweaters um, But yeah, I can't wait, it just seems like so, so long But let's show you guys a little update right now we have the cabinet installed. It's finally going off. And then the yard. There's also a couple more updates in the yard, but you guys are going to get to, of course, see everything soon. But yeah, we've been bringing you guys along since day one, literally. So I can't wait to share with you guys. I feel like it seems like we're never going to get to tell you guys, but almost, almost, alm
Yeah, which was also super crazy because where we're building our house now is up in the mountains. I mean, you guys are obviously <laughs> gonna see that um, in our videos and everything. And to build up there, like just to like, uh, how do you say, like the foundation, I guess, of the house or whatever, that itself takes about a year. Yeah, the um, dirt work. Uh, there you go, the dirt work. The dirt work for all those houses up there, since they aren't like in a hill, like in a mountain, very like the way it's sloped, it takes about a year's worth of time to, to like do all the dirt work and like make sure that it's, you know, layered correctly. Yeah, so the, um, it's crazy because when we found that space like it was literally just the tierra ready to go so we found it when it was a year's in the works which is like that space work and the next move for them was to start the frame of the house and that's literally when we found that lot so to me it was just like a hundred percent destiny like god had this plan for us like perfectly you know and that's why like everything else was not happening for us and i was just like what this is crazy so yeah they showed us like kind of the floor plan that they currently had in mind it was and they're like yeah you can you guys can change it a little bit change it a lot whatever it is obviously at that point we had to sign contracts and everything because you know if you want to go in there and be like no make this house completely different because they need to know how serious you are so yeah, yeah that day it was like it's happening like that was like me and Alex were like oh a thousand percent like we want this and for everything else we were kind of just like are we really moving to LA? Are we really getting into this house? And for this one, it was just like, oh my God, yes. We told our family and everybody was super, super hyped. And so were we. Uh -huh. um, initially, we thought the house would take about eight months to build, but then COVID and you know, just a lot yeah. of delays going on right now. It's been a year and a half, which is crazy. I didn't think we we're gonna have to uh, wait this long, but yeah, here we are now. Of course, we're gonna give you guys a house tour and it's super exciting because we were able to build our dream house to our liking, but I can't believe the house, Thank our house you. is finally freaking ready but yeah we did want to sit down and share this quick little story time with you guys on kind of what's been going on behind the scenes um and i don't know just share with you guys how you know this happened and like all of the little things we went through in the beginning and it's, it's all things that, that really like fall into place in, in your life so yeah now that the day's finally here that i tell you guys um also for the past two three weeks now there's been a lot of back and forth going to the house and finishing this and doing that and mainly packing which we're almost done i mean you guys see like the table and stuff but the rooms and just packing everything up i feel like you guys have noticed in my stories too like les where have you been um i feel like you haven't been posting okay. as much but guys even all my clothes all my shoes all my bags are packed up so i can't even really like you know take otds and it going live on facebook i couldn't do that because you guys will see the boxes everywhere and like the all my shops in my room are completely empty so you guys would be like wait what the heck's going on so that's why i've been a little distant and not really <laughs> as much because of that but and yeah i can't wait to show you guys your house um give you guys a little house tour and say goodbye to this house our first home to i love home. this place we made a lot of good memories here yeah. it was our first it was our first home together oh. we raised our first child here um, we had a lot of pool yeah. parties with our friends <laughs> with our parties. families and i love this house it's awesome yeah it was a good first house for us and we built a lot of good memories here. Yeah, so with all that being said, uh, no, we are not leaving to LA. Not this year, not next year. I don't think we're ever, ever, especially now that we were able to build our dream home. I'm super excited. Like, I don't know, I feel like we're kind of like starting a new life in a yeah. way. Like, you know, when you build your home. So, ah, and also you guys know, I mean, I'm born and raised here in El Paso. So I'm so happy that we're able to find something that worked for us here because we've lived here our whole life, both me and Alex. So we wanted to stay here. We're like super, super happy here. Obviously, all of our friends and families here so that's exciting and then our friends in LA they can always come down we have guest rooms now <laughs> or we can fly over there so we're just yeah. fucking Texas people we that's really are, we are. Texas, we're just Texas baby people. And Texas is a beautiful place and, uh, I feel like so relieved sharing this with you guys finally because literally God worked in our favor like he had the whole path planned out um, destiny like Alex said like it really destiny. was destiny like also by the way guys I don't know if you guys noticed like in my sniffing and talking but I'm a, I have a little cold right now so if I look a little bit done that's also um, why oh my god i keep i feel like i keep wanting to sneeze sorry but yeah so yeah wish us luck even just packing guys has been like our kitchen i just the did closets. packing barely right now yeah it's i had a not enough. leslie's been packing for like the past two weeks literally. or a weekish, and i literally have not packed mm -hmm. had not packed anything in this morning oh, i packed up like two four five six seven eight i packed up nine boxes right now yeah it's because we've been packing but like um like two hours a day some boxes here some boxes there because like what do we need what do we don't need so i don't know why i ended up packing all of my stuff clothes back shoes so i don't have like too much to wear too much to post so yeah that's kind of where we've been for the past like, two weeks but we're back hopefully things make sense right now yeah. um but yeah with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys, guys later bye